Shalom, all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Kakadash, the honors to the apostles, free millstone, so I teach you how to teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this video, it's like you. This video is going to be called There is Only One God. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this is Isaiah 45, verse 5. It says, I am Yahweh, there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. <clears throat> you know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, he's the only true living power. You know, there's no other power besides him. You know, um, all the, all the, all the gods of nations are idols. You know, but the Most High, he, he, he made the heavens. He. You know he's higher than all those those made idols that have no power. You know, with because they're the idols of the nations are made with hands. They're not living. You know these these heathens have to drag their idols around. You know while our power created everything that we see, every touch that we smell, that we eat, and he is the author of everything. And, you know, he's sitting on his throne. And he's um, beholding all that is, um, you know, on the earth, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going to skip to 21. Uh This is uh, Isaiah 45 and 21. It says, Tell ye and bring them near. Yeah, let them take counsel together who have declared this from ancient time, who have told it from that time. Have not I, Yahweh? There's no power. There's no power else beside me. A just power, a savior. There's none beside me. You know, Yahweh's making it known, you know, there's no other power beside him. You know, he's the one that, um, uh, he's the, um, one that, um, gave his son the, the instructions on how he wanted, um, everything to be made. Um, but anyway, I'm going to read verse 22. Look unto me and be ye saved. All the ends of the earth, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. So there's no other power besides Yahweh. You know, um, I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness, and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. So, <clears throat> you know, Yahweh, you know, the Heavenly Father is swearing by himself that, you know, you know, his words, you know, his, his, um, you know, he's the, he's the, uh, you know, only power, only God, you know, he's only living, living power, um, let me read verse 24, surely shall one say in, in, in the Lord have I, righteousness and strength even to him shall men come and all that are in, incensed against him shall be ashamed so if Yahweh you know if the heavenly father Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is with you no 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 nobody can come against you um and it says in in Yahweh shall all the seed that Israel be justified and shall glory so <clears throat> So in the you know in Yahweh Bashim uh, so you know Israel, be um, you know, justified and you know be glorified because you know the nation of Israel is the Lord's children, and He's going to you know beautify His children with salvation. He's going to glorify 
you know, his children with salvation and uh, basically through him glorifying his nation, his children, he's going to be glorified, basically. Um, but because uh, that's um, what Yahweh Bashan Yahshua wants to see. He wants to see his his nation and righteousness. He wants to uh, see the, uh, the the glorification of his children. Cause he gets all the praise in 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 the process of him doing that. Cause w through him doing that, it will show um, that that he's the true power. He's the true God, you know. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get uh Jeremiah. Jeremiah 11, verse 11. This is Jeremiah 11, verse 11. It says, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. Though they, they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. So, <clears throat> you know, those that um uh you know Israel that go after idols that you know take you know praise idols and are um not you know coming back and praising the true living power which is their power which is Yahweh you know um when you know destruction comes when evil times come you know the most high is not gonna hear your prayers. Um, he's gonna uh <clears throat> and you know, like it says, um when uh evil times come, you know, he's gonna laugh at your calamity, he's gonna mock when your fear coming. You know, 'cause the the men of the Lord that did turn back to that to Yahweh and you know, follow Yahweh Bashim Yahshua to the best of their ability, you know, they're gonna be protected. Um in the in the evil times to come, but the two thirds of the nation of Israel are gonna um, you know, uh, in that time experience sorrow, pain, suffering, and um, <clears throat> you know, you know, Yahweh and Yahshua is not gonna hearken. You know, three verse twelve. Then shall the cities of Judah and in the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods. Unto whom they offer incense, but but they shall not save them at all in the time of the trouble. So when Jacob's trouble come, you know those that took heed to idols and idol worship. You're in that day; those idols are not going to save you, you know. And those that didn't take heed to idol worship didn't turn turn their back on the idols that they were worshiping and started serving the true living power in that day. You know, Lord willing, you're gonna be protected by the uh, the power that you uh, by Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, basically, um, because <clears throat> those idols that our people are, you know, our people minds are under, you know, two thirds minds are under. It, they're idols. They're um um. You know, they they have no power. This is Psalms uh ninety six and five. It says, For all the gods and nations are idols, but the but Yahweh made the heavens. So all those those false those false gods are idols. They they have no power. They can't save no one. Um we you know we we serve the true living power that is uh that has the ability to protect you and save you from utter destruction. Um, I'm going to read the last one. Um, this is um, Jeremiah 2 verse 13. It says, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and have hewn them Hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. And those 
and those those cisterns, those broken cisterns that can hold no water are those idols. Because two thirds of the nation of Israel have forsaken their power to serve things that cannot save them. You know, um <clears throat> that can be easily melt and burnt and destroyed by just dropping it on the ground. You know, in that evil time to come, which is vastly approaching, you know, you know, the most high is gonna tell them to cry to those gods that you uh put your uh that you praised you know because in that time the true living power that's your power is not going to hearken unto you because you you didn't uh what's the word when you had liberty you forsook that liberty you know but anyway i'm gonna say all praise on the glory to yahweh bashim yashai bashim kakadash double honors to the elder apostle great millstone site case you i can teach all true sincerity and shalom